Bishops from the Interfaith Council of Kenya have expressed support for amendments to the electoral laws to allow for manual voter identification and transmission of results in instances where technology fails. But as our reporter Murimi Mwangi now tells us, religious leaders appear to be divided on the standoff. As debate continues on whether the country's electoral agency, IEBC, should revert to manual voter identification and transmission of results in instances where technology fails. <laughs> Bishops from the Interfaith Council of Kenya have thrown their weight behind the amendments passed recently during a stormy session of the National Assembly and now want the Senate to endorse the same on Thursday. All technological uh, gadgets fail one time or another, and therefore the idea of having a standby alternative would always be a wise decision. If there is a backup uh, manual register and the signal goes down or, or power goes off and you are in the queue, mm. you see, voting, you, shall, you are not going to be told, can you wait for the power to come back to restart the process? Yeah. But the National Council of Churches of Kenya warned President Uhuru Kenyatta against signing their acrimonious amendments into law, arguing that would undermine public goodwill and confidence in next year's polls, a position supported by the Supreme Council of Kenya Muslims. We would have advised them not to do it just like that, but to get their fellow opposition members to discuss these things. Because these things are not belonging to individual. They belong to the whole nation. And now the interfaith bishops are already being accused of political bias towards the ruling Jubilee government. The foundations we, we are talking about must be based on the foundations of peace. Yes. And, not acrimony. and not acrimony. But CIA Senator James Orengo, who co-chaired the special joint parliamentary select committee that drafted the electoral laws amendment bill, argues that any fallback plan on voter identification and results transmission must be electronic based, adding that reverting to a manual system would leave the elections prone to rigging. Raina Amolo Odinga was almost denied the chance of voting when his name was not found in the Langata constituency uh, 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 electoral commission uh, register. But Mr. Speaker, there was a backup. The then electoral commission had a backup, which was called the Black Book Backup, which had the name of the uh, former prime minister. And in the process, Mr. Speaker, he was allowed to vote. We are not talking about just a purely electronic system. We are talking about an integrated electronic system. And to that extent, I think it is, by definition, will require a backup system that is electronic. The opposition coalition court has threatened to resume its nationwide demonstrations if the contentious electoral changes pass at the Senate. But in the event that the Senate suggests fresh amendments to the bill, recently passed at the chaotic National Assembly special sitting, then the two houses will be forced to form a mediation committee to broker a consensus on the contentious amendments. Muremi Mwangi, KTN News, Nairobi.